really didn't have the support around him. Carney was there. But Jennings decides to take the safe option, goes to ground. Brian Young to Paddy Wallace. And now it's Malcolm O'Kelly sees a gap, and Malcolm O'Kelly finds it. And Malcolm O'Kelly's going to be caught, but a fantastic offload to Luke Fitzgerald. David Croft almost gets him. No 17. Paddy Wallace. Ooh, and, oh, oh, very quickly there was uh, Glenn Jackson. And now Peter Hewitt, Rory Best. Now Tommy Bowles, one man to beat Pretorius. Outside of his Jamie Heaslip. Inside is Rob Corney. Heaslip needs nobody else. And Jamie Heaslip scores again. The second Leinster man to score a try. Following the brace from Shane Horgan. What a moment. Well, I think Sunasi and Nessie, as he was approaching, you know, he got Tommy Bow earlier on. I think the closer he got to Jimmy Heaslip and saw the size of him, the less he fancied this tackle. But crucially, the ball was kept alive. Lovely hands from Rory Best there, coming around the corner. And, you know, they had, they had an overlap here. Bow took it himself. You thought maybe it held on just too long, but Heaslip went for it. And Nessie should have made that tackle. But tremendous interplay between forwards and backs on the Irish side, and again, all credit to Malcolm O'Kelly, who found himself in open space, and there you see the quick hands of Shane Horgan, keeping the ball alive, and again, just good use of the support and the space. Wasn't it beautiful the way that Tommy Bow just took Pretorius out there and fed Heaslip, who's a real finisher in his own right, he was the joint top scorer in the Magners League last season with seven, and the only forward to feature at the top of that list. Yeah, Heaslip, I mean, He's, he's, again, a bit like Ferris, the complete player. You know, that back rower, but, you know, comfortable carrying the ball, passing the ball and catching the ball. Uh, you know, tremendous athlete. Paddy Wallace again, a fine kick, and he's kicked well tonight. 